Let's have a look inside. Welcome inside the Nomad. Um, so when you get inside from the sliding door, uh, you get pretty much in the entrance of the house. So right next to me, you have uh, a decent sized closet where we have also the inverter for the solar package if you take that option. So the batteries are inside that box in the lower part of the cabinet. And the, then the upper part is pretty much the mechanical of this house. So it's quite compact. Here we have the heat recovery air exchanger, which is something that you don't see in RVs, but it's quite mandatory. It's something really airtight and insulated like our houses. So on the top, you have the controls where you're gonna see the level for the solar package and then the level for all the tanks inside the house, including um, the freshwater tank and the wastewater holding tanks. Here we have uh, the electrical panel with the breaker switch as well. And then all the connections, the switch are uh, LED and they're really small. So that way um, they're small, right? <laughs> the house is equipped with a lot of USB plugs. Um, everything is normally low voltage. So that way you can plug pretty much anything you want. If you're running on the 30 amp, everything is converted into 120. If not, you're provided with pure 12 volts. Um, the sliding door is equipped with a curtain, so you don't have to buy your own. It comes with it. Uh, on the corner here, we have an RV TV mount, uh, and then you can have the option for a Furion 32 inches TV. That one is meant to be installed in the RV, so not all the TVs will be suitable for RV use in different climates, and Vibration Smart is something you really want for the appliances that will be installed in a mobile unit like that. Uh, we have entrance hooks. Of course, they're in front of the TV, but then space is important. So if you deploy the TV, you can still have uh, some stuff at the back because space is really important. On top of it, we have the head of the mini split. That one comes as an option. So it will provide air conditioning and heating in the house if you're either equipped with a full solar package, the, big, the biggest one. If not, you really need a 30 amp connection to run that. On the upper left, we have um, the smoke alarm, which is normally installed at the highest point of the house. Um, here we have some cabinets around the dinette. We have a duct for uh, the heating system. There's one right there, there's one in the bathroom and one in the bedroom, so that way the heat is distributed evenly throughout the whole house. On each side of the dinette, you have um, some drawers. So there's another one right here. And then you have my fishing gear right there. And then you have um, an outlet on the side right here. And in the back of the dinette cabinet, um, you have, of course, two vents and the smoke, not the smoke detector, but the propane and CO detector. That one is really mandatory if you have propane in your house. Uh, the U-shaped dinette will convert into a bed if you want it. So you can just remove that little table right here and you have a leg. And then you remove that leg as well. And that little part right here will actually fill up the space right there. And then you just deploy all the mattresses and make a comfy bed. In the bottom part right here of the cabinet, I'm going to show you real quick. You've ha you have access to um, the, the propane furnace and the propane on-demand water heater. And also with the pump if you have the fresh water tank. So this is where the magic happens. So in the bottom here, you have the furnace. In the middle here, you have uh, the 12 volt pump. And then in the corner right here, hold on a sec. This is where we have uh, the precision temp on demand water heater that run, runs on propane and it's floor vented. So it's pretty much what you need uh, to get into off grid life. The kitchen of the Nomad is quite compact, but really efficient. We have a stainless sink, a double, and then we have um, a black faucet on top of it, and then plenty of storage underneath. The counter is wood laminate for both the countertop and also the table right here. And then we have a couple of shelves. Those are pine wood stained. And here we have another cabinet, but in case you want to have the two-in-one washer and dryer, this is the area where it's going to be located. In this case, it's just storage. 
but just be aware that this is where the washer and dryer can be located if you take, if you take that option. Here we have uh, a propane range. That one is Furion with a little fancy LED lightning lighting. Uh, and here we have, of course, a range hood that is also mandatory for uh, a proper ventilation in the house. We have an awning cabinet on top of it and other cabinets with drawers on each side and then another drawer underneath um, the propane range. In the bottom here, we have the 12 volt Furion fridge. That one is 9.3 cubic feet. And this will also run off grid. So right now it's just really cold, but there's no beer. So I cannot crack a cold one for you guys. Um, here we have another awning door with a cabinet on top of it. Here we have a little nook so we can put whatever pleases you and another cabinet right here. And here we have a pantry with an optional um, microwave. And the other one are just uh, drawers for the pantry. Here we have the thermostat for the propane furnace. That's it. So the Nomad model can be equipped with a flush toilet or a composting toilet as an option. We also have the duct for the heating, the propane furnace. And then in the upper part, we have the humidity extractor. We have a big size window and next to it, we have uh, a nice pharmacy with uh, a medicine cabinet and uh, a vanity in the bottom. The house comes with a 24 by 36 tub with plenty of headroom. So it's really comfortable. And then we have some nice stainless fixtures. You can also have it black if you want uh, or stainless. And then we have a little gray curtain that will so <laughs> <laughs> that comes with the house. <laughs> it was really important when designing this house to have no compromises on the comfort of the bedroom. So let's have a look. So you can have access with the sliding door. And then as you can see, there's plenty of space. This is a queen size bed and you have two big windows on each side. The one, uh, in this area is meant to be used as an emergency. So that one is the egress window. On each side of the bed, we have a closet, a nightstand with some connections, USB plug and 120 volts outlet. And we have two drawers on each side of the bed. We also have one awning uh, door cabinet on each side of the bed. Um, so you can have more stuff. And then here, is some extra storage. So if you don't take the fresh water tank, there will be storage throughout the whole bed base. If not, the head of the bed, the head of the bed, the head of the bed is where the fresh water tank will be located with insulation. So if you take the fresh water tank, you have less space underneath the bed. This, this is also where you will install the four stabilizers and also anything you wanna have uh, for transport. So we have a white door that is installed on a barn door mechanism. That one is for a regular lock, like let's say you want some privacy. And then the other one right there is for transport. So when you're going to take the road, just lock it right there and it prevents anything from moving. In the bottom right here, we have the other duct for the propane furnace. So that way, like I said before, you have um, heating distributed evenly throughout the whole house. To complete the master bedroom, the house will come equipped with a really comfortable queen size mattress, memory foam that will provide you with the best sleep ever, ever. How awesome is that? This is exactly the type of environment in which you would be installing your Nomad tiny house. The purpose behind this design is actually to bring you with the comfort of your own house into this type of landscape. So stay with us if you want to learn more about the creative process behind this design.